Welcome to Victory Condition Gaming. My name is Doug. Today on this show, we are playing Skulk Hollow by Pencil First Games. Before we begin, there are two things that I'd like you to, to do for us. One is, if you are interested in everything that we're about to show you, please check out the Kickstarter in the description of this video. The second thing is, if you are uh, on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. That way we can showcase more awesome stuff like like Skulk Hollow on, on our show. Joining me today is the one and only Sydney, my daughter. You know her. You love her. Here she is. <laughs> Sydney, uh, are you excited to play Skull Hollow? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe let's show you uh, a little bit of what the game entails, and then we'll get to the action. We'll show you a little run-through of the game, and uh, hopefully you can check it out on Kickstarter. All right, so Skull Hollow is uh, an asymmetrical two-player uh, uh, two player game, as, as like I said. One side plays as the what's called the Guardian, and then the second player controls these little... Fox and Meeple armies, which is which is awesome. Well, it could not Well, it doesn't have to be necessarily the bad guy. Cause what if the Fox and people? Because like you know, fo maybe he like stole from the other guy or something. Like may, like or I don't know. Like, cause th isn't the backstory like this guy wants to steal the land? I guess so. Maybe yeah. Maybe the Fox and Peoples took it from him. Yeah. First. That that could be. I don't I don't know. Um. So the the game takes place on this. Uh, modular board right here. Guardian is going to start off in this dark space, and then the Foxen uh, player is going to start off in this like castle space. And they always start out with a sentinel and a royalty. Now, in this game, we're going to choose the king for this playthrough. There are three other royalties there's a queen, a prince, and a princess. The, and yeah, that's exactly what, the, and each one has a special ability. Um, and just like the the, uh, the the royalties, there are different uh, guardians that you can play as well. Um, there's uh, a raptra, um, I forget what this, there's like a, a, a tentacle uh, root octopus guy that has to get his, his little uh, tentacles out on the board in order for a win condition. Uh, it's... I love, I love uh, the replayability of this game. I'm just going to spoil that right off the bat. So for this playthrough, we're going to play with the King of War and the Sentinel. You always start out with, with uh, the Royalty and the Sentinel out in play. Um, the castle. Right. And you know what? I think what we're going to do to make things easier, let's, let's play these meeples down so that folks can, folks can see what they look like. Now, you're going to be playing on this board as well as the Guardian board. And what my win condition is for my Fox and Heroes... It's basically to, t to take out the abilities of the Guardian, knock him all the way, all his life points down, and KO him. Win condition? That is... Don't you mean victory condition? Sorry. That was really bad. No, Sorry. that's that's fine. That's, that's, it's to be expected at this point. Um, so that's going to be my my victory condition, if you... If, you want to go with what Sydney says. If you want to um, make puns. That's right. We're going to. I'm going to want to take out the the uh, guardian player. Um, I have to uh, pretty much jump on him and start taking out all these things. Or uh, as you'll see, uh, some of my fox and heroes that that will get deployed throughout the game. Some of them are archers, which cannot jump on him. They actually have to hit him from from distance. Um, so that's that's uh, that's the win condition for for my characters. For Sydney's con character, uh, her guardian is called Grack. Um, his win condition is to either take out my royalty, in this case it's the king, or take out eight of the fox and heroes. So you take out eight of the fox and heroes, you win. You said so. they were heroes. What if they're the because bad guys? I'm saying that they're heroes because that's what I do. Um, each of us has a, a unique deck that we're going to be going to be using. Um, for the Fox and Heroes, it shows you on this little player board. Now, these this is a prototype game, so there are some elements that are not going to be final. Like this player board, right, or this uh, Guardian board is going to be die cut, which is going to be awesome. Uh, I can't wait for that. It, it's not going to be be square. It's going to be all cut out all around it. 
so it's going to give it a little more, you know, feel to Maybe it. So it'll be special. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the other with the other boards as well. And they had a, uh, a stretch goal for uh, this guy right here, and I forget what his, I think it's maybe Epoda or something. Um, this this one is uh, the fourth bad guy, bad guy guardian that uh, actually got locked on the Kickstarter, and uh, that's pretty cool. Does he have a cool. little meeple? Uh, he it? does. I, I don't have it out, though, unfortunately. I forgot to, to pull it out. Um, so with these cards... Uh, this is how you are going to uh, move your characters, deploy your characters. Um, each card uh, usually has two um, purposes. Um, you can, you have to use one or the other. You can't use both. Uh, so, like with this, with this, I can leap onto. If I'm in the, like the same square as uh, as Grack, I can use this card and leap onto him. And uh, I actually have to jump. Unless I have a special ability, I have to leap onto him from his feet and then traverse the board uh, on these different paths. And based on the number of meeples, that's how many meeples can be in each uh, section. And once I take out, once I, I take out all the the um, hearts in a particular ability, Sydney can't use that ability anymore. Unless you unless like, you mend, you. right? And um, also, you can only use like one ability on per card. Right, right. Um, with my characters, I do have uh, with with the Fox and Heroes, I have uh, an ability called Gain Power, which um, some of my characters have like power slots, at which I would pull out of these power pool. I guess is what you want to call it, the power pool and uh, assign it to my characters, and that basically, uh, on a later turn, I can use those powers as uh, special actions. They don't count against my action uh, each turn. Uh, so for, for the Fox and Heroes, I actually have three actions to use every... And I only have two. And you have two. Because I can't do anything. But here's the cool thing with Grek. Once he has nine wounds on him, or more, you actually get three actions. And once he gets three actions, he's a beast. Get it? Get it? Because he's a bear. He's a he's a beast. Wait, he's a bear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you I did. It took you that long to figure it out? I couldn't figure out what animal it was. I could tell it was like some sort of like furry animal, but I couldn't tell like what specific animal it was. Oh. All right. So. Because I'm an idiot. That's no, you're not. Um. So and and then in um. In this deck also there are unit cards that I can play for an action and basically they can deploy anywhere in these three light spaces. Uh, so I can use either in the, the like the keep or the mill and or the castle. Um, so I, they can deploy it here and then move traverse the, the board. Um, same thing with and then I've got, so I've got a melee action so if I'm on him uh, I can melee and, and hit him for a, uh, a hit point. Uh, there are movement so basically the the way the board set up that is the directions that I can move one meeple. Uh, let's see here. The archers have one hit point, and I can do a damage from from uh, a surrounding ground space. A knight says I may make one free leap after completing a move action. So a lot of times with the knights, if you're in, in a, uh, a, a surrounding square, if you move in, then you can automatically jump onto the guardian with the... the uh, with the knights, uh, with the rogues, uh, you can power them up, and basically you can leap and then do a, um, you can do a, a leap and then a melee attack, and then they also have a dash action, which you can leap onto any location from the guardian's ground space. For some reason, I feel like like the artwork, like it's good. I'm gonna take this one for example. Sure. Like this king. It could be seen as cute or also kind of like, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to use the word sketchy, but like, because like, because like you could see it from either way, because if you're on like a certain team, then you can be like, you can be like, oh, look at how cute it is. And then be like, somebody else be like, oh, um, it looks more sketchy or something. I don't know. Same thing with like Grack. He may look like more heroic or like more like a beast or something. Gotcha. Gotcha. Those are the, the, the different actions. You can summon uh, an, a unit, you can leap, you can melee, you can missile, uh, which is a, a ranged attack uh, from an adjacent square, or you can always prepare. Uh, a prepare action is when you discard one card and you draw two. And um, even if you have five cards in your hand, you can always draw one. 
Um, but you always are going to have five cards going into the next round, more than likely. I think pretty much uh, that's that's a given. With Grack, um, he has a, a gaze action where uh, any um, any unit that's in a, a surrounding space, which would be if he was here, a surrounding space would be here, 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 here. Uh, Turn you can like an X. yeah, you can do an, a damage to one, uh, do one damage to to a unit. Um, you can swing, so you can infl inflict one uh, wound to any unit that's in the ground space. So if I'm in the same space as, as Grack, you can do a, a, a damage. You can throw, uh, so if I'm on you, you can actually take one of my units and grab them and throw them to anywhere on the board. That kind of messes, messes my uh, plans up a little bit. You can also stomp, um, which actually comes in pretty handy. I saw that being used quite a bit yesterday when we were doing demos of this, um, where basically you can move, um, where you move all of your units from Grat's ground space to uh, other ground space to any other ground spaces. So basically, you can go into a unit and stomp, and then you know, you pretty much spread them out. Um, you can mend, which means you can take one wound off of uh, any spot on on the uh, the guardian board. So say you have all of one. Ability all used up. They're all damaged up. That's really terrible, but that's because yeah. I was holding them. Right? Sure, you can you can mend for one, and then all of a sudden you get that ability back again, because you still have one hit point left on it. And then of course you can also prepare as well. Prepare. All right, so let's let's play this. I'm confused so, on how gazing can inflict damage, like. Wow, you're gazing at me right now, and that is inflicting a lot of damage on me. It's true. All right, so with this, uh, you're going to draw Maybe five the cards. Is, like, inside. Like, the the cards will get discarded, and then once we run run out of cards, they get reshuffled and um, put back into uh, the deck, the draw pile. Or yeah, that too, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, since I am the fox in Heroes, I get to go first. Said they were heroes. Uh, just saying that they are. Um, I am for my first action. I am going to deploy a knight. Uh, my knight has two hit points, um, and since it is the plus meeple knight, my uh, knight, I am going to put and I can deploy him right there or her. I guess maybe it's a her. That's my first action. My second action is going to be to deploy a rogue. And he's the circle, circle guy right there. He kind of like blended in for me. He like did right a little bit. Corner of my eye. It was just like. And then for doing? my third action, I'm going. And then I'm going to put my discard pile right here. I'm going to move these loyalties. Uh, I'm going to power up my king. Just like that. And that's my third th three actions. I've got two cards, so I'm going to draw back up to five. And what's that thing like if you had like? Five cards. If I have five cards and I draw one always, so you always have like one more card, like because, that you didn't have when you start your. Yeah, all right, it's your turn. What are you gonna do for your first action, oh, Sydney? I have no clue. <laughs> you have no idea. I don't plan things. Who do you think I am? Wow, these cards are so helpful. <laughs> well, you can always prepare. Um, the one thing that with, with prepare, uh, the prepare action, one thing that it does do, uh, since some of the actions are kind of limited in the deck, you can prepare and kind of cycle through the, the deck a little bit faster uh, just preparing. Um, so that's one mechanic that I, that I really uh, like that they, they considered when, uh, when they designed this game. All right. What are you going to do for your first action? Wait, do the, are there like, wait, how much health do, how much health does everybody have? Um, my rogue has one. Okay. Everybody else okay. has at least two. And if then the king has king three. King has three. And there's like, isn't, isn't the rule with like the king, if like somebody's in a square with the king, then like the other person takes the damage Correct. instead of the king or whatever. Correct. So is. if I have a, if I have a, a unit, if I have the king in a square and there's another a uh, unit in with the square, the other unit has to take the damage before the king. It's kind of like they're putting their, themselves in front of the uh, king for 
or, or whatever royalty is there uh, for uh, to, to protect the yeah to protect the king or the royalty. So you're gonna gain some ground. Which which way are you going? All right, good deal. That's your first action. Second action. What are you gonna do? Retreat? Oh, you're gonna gaze. Which one are you gonna gaze at? My my rogue. So he's one hit point. So he automatically. There's one of your eight that you have to take out. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't get that card right. back. So that's your two actions. Now you drop to five. I'm going to actually put out an archer. Uh, he's the star archer. He also only has one hit point. He also only has one hit point. I'm going to put him out there. And then, oh, crud. I did not notice that, uh, yeah. Anyway, I probably should have waited on that one. I'm going to scatter with my knight. <laughs> scatter! And since I moved into the, sa the same space as... Um, Grack, I get a free action because her action is may make one free leap after completing a move. So I'm going to move up to there. And then for my third action, I am going to melee your stomp. I'm just going like, to take like the I'm gonna, tiny... I'm going to stomp on your foot a little bit. Are you just going to take like the t a tiny little like swordy thing and be like on my foot? Pretty much. Pretty much that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to draw back up to five. And now it's Sydney's turn. Okay. That's 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 all good. And what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fly? You're gonna you're gonna do that again? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was probably not a good move on my part. You've got two quick quick kills. <laughs> and then the tiny little blue fox thing on the. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Go You're going to throw him over to there. Okay. Nice. Go away. All right. That's your two actions. Yes, that is correct. Those okay. are two actions. My first action, I'm going to deploy this knight. For my second action, Ooh, the triangle knight. I'm going to move, I'm going to slant right, and I'm going to move up. And that means I get a free leap ability. And then with my... Wait, did you just say ability? Ability, ability, yep. Ability. Ability. Um, I'm going to also flank on and then get my free leap action. And that's my three actions. Oh, it's not allowed. Okay, is my turn? It is your turn. Wow, it came so fast. Uh, the king's uh, power ability is uh, I can leap and then do a melee attack, by the way. Okay, what's your. Uh, okay, what is your. Any action card going to be? You're going to throw me. I, I like triangles better than okay. I like those Sure. Okay, fine. Here, you can chill with your buddies. Okay. So that's your first action. Nice. So you're going to mend and draw one. Yes, that is correct. All right, now how many cards do you have? I just... Four? All right, so you're going to want to draw up to five. Uh, my first action is going to be... going to... Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to deploy this rogue. I don't know if you can see that. The It's the diamond rogue. He's going to go right here. Ooh, because he's classy. And, and then I'm going to diamond. play gain ground. Is he going to climb on me? And then uh, he has... No, 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 no. Uh, I can leap to any location from the guardian's uh, ground space to another location to uh, to uh, leap to any location from the guardian's ground space or other location. 
Okay, so I'm going to leap onto the throw. Um, and then that's what that, that was my first action was to gain ground. Or no, was that my second action. My third action is going to be to melee your throw. No. Boo to that. Boo to that. All right. And then I'm going to draw up to five. Boo to that. Your turn. I just realized. I just realized I had this card. <laughs> wow, these cards are very helpful. Okay. See how you like it. That's your first action. Second action. Hmm. I'm going to prepare. Okay. Because I have nothing to do. You're going to discard and then. One, two. So you have five cards now, so you're going to just draw back up to one. What? You're going to draw one. Even if you have five, you draw one. And you're going to want to shuffle we'll shuffle your discard pile. Yes, that would be a good idea. Or else I would just tap it, go down to like the end of one and then be like, oh, well, I ran out of cards. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now for my first action... I'm going to deploy this other knight. Kind of running out of space over here. Um, and then that's my first action. My second action, I'm going to slant left. And I'm going to jump onto there. Oh, he's hanging out with this other knight, buddy. And then I am going to melee your throw. No. For my third action. And I have two, so I drop to five. All right, your turn, Sydney. I don't think that Diamond Rogue likes me. I'm just going to say that. I don't think I can do anything that's helpful. Hold on, who you got over here? You got um, the Sentinel, um, the Knight, and, and the King a, of War. Yeah, I've got a King, yeah. I'm going to put the... The King of War. The Knight, the Sentinel, and everything over there. All right. Okay, that's nice. What, if I were you? Can I give you a little bit of can I give you a little bit of advice? Yeah. Okay. Fine. No, you cannot. All right. All right. Now what are you gonna do? So you're gonna approach right, and you're gonna gaze. Which one are you gonna gaze at? I don't care. You wanna gaze at this one or this one? Hmm. This because it reminds me of addition, and it reminds me it reminds me of math. All right. Um, so that's your two actions. You're going to drop up to five. Nice. nice. Um, I am going to... You kind of messed my plans up. That's my plans. I think what I'm going to do... That's my plans is to mess up your plans. Yeah, that is. Because that's basically what this game is. <laughs> Just ruining other people's plans. Because if... But, but we both have very different plans, so if we were to both have our plans go our way, then, then there wouldn't really hmm. be much of a game. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to prepare. And That's always a good idea. <laughs> I am going to... That's my first action. My oh. second action, I'm going to deploy this archer, the circle archer. I'm actually going to put him in this That's spot, so cool. because if I put him in this spot, I won't be able to hit you. Oh, but you know what? I just realized that I just discarded my only missile uh, attack, so that was kind of dumb. <laughs> but... That's that's my th third action. My I mean, my second action. My third action, I'm going to melee you, and no, I'm going to not. disable your throw. No, you're not. That's no. not... That's and not now I'm drawing thing. up to five. All right, your turn. That's not a thing. You can't do that. Who do you think you are, Diamond Rogue? <laughs> Steve. Steve? Steve the Diamond Rogue? Yeah. That's what his name is? Yep. I don't know why, but he looks like a Steve. Mm. Preparing is a good idea. I don't know. Okay. 
Maybe maybe something helpful might come up. Uh, can I give you another? Can I can I give you a hint on what I would probably do if I were you? No. Okay. You're gonna okay. You're gonna mend. So that's your two actions. Right. See how you like it. First action, I'm going to deploy my rogue into here. That one is the toenail one because it looks like a toenail. And then I can uh, leap to any location from the guardian's ground space or another location. No, you can't. So I'm going to leap into the gaze. I just realized there's like another path, so now we have somebody's in the, the gaze area. Yeah. You can just go like this. I just realized that. And. I don't have any. Just I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare. Yes. That's so there's one. Always a good idea. Is it my turn? Uh, which second here? Out of all the wonderful, helpful cards I could have. <laughs> and then I have this. <laughs> What's that? I said out of all the wonderful cards I could have, and then I have this. <laughs> uh, the one thing that, that you pointed out when, when we first played this through is that uh, there are a lot of... Uh, some of the cards, some of the abilities are only come up like... Tw I think you said that there's only like two throws in your deck. Yeah. So, if you want to uh, throw somebody, it's, it's kind of hard to... Uh, Probably because they're like so tiny, and then I'll probably be like, oh, oh, I have, oh, there's a bug? Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, the one thing that, I, that I've noticed with uh, my Fox and Hero deck is that, that there's not a whole lot of, I mean, there's movement, but a lot of times the movement cards that you have aren't directions that you need to go. Yeah. So that, that kind of, uh, kind of puts a cramp in things. All right, your turn. Is it my turn? Yep. Goodbye, Steve. <laughs> All right. Nobody liked you, Steve. All right. Good to know. Nobody liked you. That's your first action. Second action. Goodbye. Oh, you're gonna do. You're gonna take that uh, plus knight out. So uh, it's, that plus knight has two hit points now. It's taken out. So that puts you at how many? Three. Push it three? Yes. Because remember I got two. Yeah. And then no, and that's, uh, so you've got uh, five more to go. All right, so that's your two actions? Yes. All right, I think what I need to do now, what I need to do, and this is, this is what's going to come up. This is what's up. I'm going to move my king up here. <gasps> oh, do I want to move my king up there? No, I don't want to move my king up there. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, I'm gonna take that back. I take that back. Is it I'm in gonna, the rule book? That yeah, you can? I can. I can. I, I the the directions of these these cards and the the board just kind of throw me off sometimes. So I've never been really good about that. I'm, I'm going to uh, y'all can get after me for taking back my move. That's fine. I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this archer right there, and then I'm going to for my second action I'm going to missile you. No. I'm gonna missile your throw. No. And for my third action, I'm actually going to double jump, <laughs> double leap with uh, the square knight. I'm gonna one, two, and that's all I'm gonna do. And that's it. Based on the fact that there's a path, I don't really think it counts as leaping. It is leaping. You 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 can't really jump from like you can't. Like, like if this is the foot and this is the shoulder, yeah. I don't think you can jump like vertically all the way up, just automatically you, you, up to the shoulder. You don't, you don't know what, uh, you don't know the leaping abilities of foxes. Okay then. It's, it could, it could happen. So you mend it again. That's right. Wow, again. this is uh, okay. Good to know. So that's your first action. What's your second action? I'm confused to what this does. I'm reading all the things. Okay. So you're going to mend again and draw one. Yikes. Ooh. Okay, well. Ooh, yeah, a wish... thing. Ooh, another thing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. You ready? 
Are you ready? No. So the one thing that, that, that I've learned about playing this game a few times is that the king, you do not want the king on you. Because once the king's on you, he starts wrecking house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slant left with my king. And then, he's powered up. So that means that I can use a power to leap and then attack. How does he just... Leap. Attack. Ooh. And then, of course, these power options, these power actions don't take from my other actions. So I'm going to then leap. And Where then are my power cubes? That character doesn't have any. He's one of the have easier power ones. Power cubes. So that is my first action: is to move. My second action is then to melee again and take out your throw. Who do you think you are, King? Oh, I am. Hey, just wait. Just wait. And then That's my it. third action. Mm -hmm. No, because I I moved here for uh, one. Those were free actions. And then my third action, I'm going to power up my king again. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Joey. All right, and then that's that's it. I am down to three, so that means that oh, whoops, here I'm gonna discard something really stupid, so in that way I can actually do something useful. Probably, I'm just gonna Ugh. do things. There. Okay. Hold on, I need to draw two. I just drew one. Okay. Wow, these cards are so helpful now. Yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> who you got over there? You got. Hold on. You got. Mm, we got some, archer. some archers, and I got the sentinel. You got. Um, what? I don't have Steve on me. Steve. Is Steve's over there. there. I, I know, I was just. Okay. What are you going to do for your first action? You're going to gaze? Which one are you going to gaze at? The circle. The circle one? Okay. Is it, is it my circle knight is... Uh, circle archer is gone, so you go up to four. Halfway done. All right. Uh, what you going to do for your second action? <laughs> anyway. What are you going to do for your second action? What are you going to do? gonna do something that might help me somehow. Ooh! Alright, so you're gonna prepare? Ooh, a thing! I found interesting things! Okay, so my first action, I'm going to use, or not my first, I'm just gonna use my power to leap, do a damage, and then... I think that's all I'm going to do there. For my first action, I am going to melee your stomp. Why? <laughs> yes. Kill the thing that I don't ever do, ever. Yes, I of know. course. And then for Best my... Best strategy. <laughs> that was my first action. My second action, I am going to flank. So I'm going to move Steve over to this one right here. And then I'm going to scatter. And then his ability is uh, leap to any location from the Guardians of Ground Space to another location. So I am going to just jump right over to here. Yeah, okay, Steve. You do that. Okay. Now I'm going to draw up to five. All right, your turn. Steve. What are you going to do? I can understand his facial expression. He's very angry at Steve right mm, now. He is. You got it? Yeah! You mended? Okay. You mended your throw. And I get to draw one. And you do get to draw one, yes. This doesn't help me. But okay, I right. can work with this. Goodbye. Oh, you gazed. Okay, see you later, Star Archer. So you've <laughs> got, what, three Archer. more to, to kill before you can... Right. Oh, look, there's four. And the sentinel's just like, friends, why did you all leave me? 
Okay. So my first act. So that was your two actions. For my first action, I'm going to power up my sentinel. <laughs> and then you're just like. Uh, I'm going to do my king ability where I leap and then melee leap. I didn't know you could leap backwards. Melee, yeah. You, can, you get the path there. And Whoa. then my second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move in with my sentinel. No, you're not. The sentinel has to be, the sentinel has to be named something really sketchy. And then I'm going but to hurl something... I'm going to hurl do one do one wound to any location from the guardian's ground space. So I'm going to then pitch your swing. Yes, a thing that I never use. Of course. And then for Fine. Then I'm going to prepare. That's all we take. I'm going to discard this one and then Can't I just like drop two and then I'm going to drop to five. Since All right. this creature is so big, can't I just like walk on top of everyone? Uh you would think. But you can no. stomp. Stomp pretty much stomp means you go into an area and then scatter them out. No, it has to, Yeah, but like why can't you just stomp on them? I don't know. <gasps> what are you gonna do now? Yeah, you, know, you could you could stomp and get me out of there. Just saying. No. Just kidding. Yes. Where do you want to stomp me to? There. Okay. That's the place I send everybody. Yeah. Everybody goes to the railroad track thing. All right. So that's your first action. What are you gonna do for your second action? No, didn't I do a first action? Oh, did you, did you, yeah, did you prepared? prepared? Okay. Uh, first action, I'm going to melee. I'm going to melee your stomp. Okay, then. That's fun. That's fine. Um, kind of like a, a turn Are those late. five, like, besties? Yes. They, they love to chill together. Yes. Second... I can imagine them just all like chilling. I'm going together. to my second action. I'm going to power up my king. No. Yep. Third action. I'm actually going to leap with. And I'll show you why I'm going to do this in a second. I'm going to leap with this guy over to here. Okay. All right. Okay. And that's going to be it. Is it my turn? It is I your turn. I am very happy. I love my turn. One. No, two more, I guess. Two more hits, and you get uh, three actions. Mm. Oh. Mm. Now what are you going to do? Mm. You're going to throw me? Mm. You know what I would probably... No. Okay. You got gaze, I'm just saying. If you have gaze in your hand... But I can't. Okay. I don't have three actions. No. Mr. I have three actions, because I have tiny little woodland creatures. <laughs> Not bitter at all, are you sitting? No, of course not. Oh, whoops, I didn't drop to my five. Okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, this doesn't help me at all. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to melee my, your throw. Okay. And then okay, I am Mr. going toenail. to... Mr. Toenail. <laughs> it's the Toenail Rogue. Because he has a toenail on his thing. I'm going to deploy Circle Knight, uh, Circle Rogue into here. Yeah. And then he's got the leap ability. Uh, yeah, you leap to any location from the Guardian's ground space or any other location. So he's going to leap up to there. Why don't and then I have a leap ability? His third action, my third action is going to be to melee your gaze. Oh, and then I draw back up to five. going to prepare because none of these cards are helpful. Ooh! Let me shuffle those. Alright. You, you get to draw one more, right? Yeah. The men. Alright. That's your second action. Mm -hmm. 
All right. My and first. Steve is just chilling. My first action I'm going to do. Is I'm going to prepare. Uh, my second action I'm going to. Prepare. It's always a good idea. My third action, I'm going to deploy Circle Archer. Circle Archer guy. And that's going to be it. Donut Archer. He has made his return. He has. And now he's oh, gone. Oh, I was hoping you didn't have another. Oh, oh that stinks. All right, so that's your first action. He made his return, and now he's gone. What's your second action? The donut archer is gone. Yeah. Now you know the pain. I, I actually have no clue what I'm doing now. I just really. Felt Can you it. throw? I would throw one of those off and then. I would. Oh, you don't. But have a throw? there's only like two, two throws. Oh, okay. So you know that happens. So you're gonna prepare. Okay. My first action, I'm going to. I'm gonna flank. And then for my second action, I'm going to proceed. I want to know. I want to know how long between these two squares are. Like, is it like, like a foot? Or and is then it like for a real, uh, my, like a, foot, but like a small distance, or is it like a really big distance? Because uh, like, I don't know. Then for my third action, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare. Preparing is always a good. Idea. Yeah. I don't really have too many options. And then, okay, your turn. What are you gonna do? Mend? Do you have mend again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. Now what do you got? What are you gonna do? Gaze? Which one are you gonna gaze at? Well, I can't. I don't. Really oh, you gotta gaze at mine. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I don't have a choice, I do I? No, you don't. Okay. And the king's just sitting there like. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do. For my first action, <gasps> okay. For my first action, dang it, I don't know if I can do this and pull it off. Okay, for my first action, I'm going to. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Circle Knight's not. I have a Circle uh, Archer. Donut gone. Knight. Donut Archer. Star Archer is going to go right here. He is then going to do a missile attack and hit you in your gaze. Okay. Yeah. And then Yeah, that's fine. That's that's two actions. My third action I'm going to then melee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That, that's do fine. I want to do that? No. I want to missile your gaze again. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That, that that's fair. Okay. 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 That that that's fine. Okay, that's my three actions. What's uh what's your uh What's your second action? Yeah, you get one more hit and then you get three actions. Okay. I see what you're trying fair. to do. Yeah. All right. What are you gonna do? Okay. Okay, that's fair. Oh no. Okay. Do you have two? Oh, don't tell me you have two gazes. If you have two gazes, this game's over. Here, do you want me to count? No, just kidding. I don't have two. Oh. I'm tell you that. I didn't even think about this. Okay, go ahead. But I do have one gaze, and I'm gonna use that, and he's gone. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Figured. So you're down to one. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Why not do the helpful thing? Okay. For Ooh. my for my first action, I'm going to melee your gaze. So now you have three actions because you're down okay. to two hit points, okay? Okay. For my okay. second action, okay. I'm going to melee your throw. Okay. Okay. That's, that's great. Okay? That's... That's great. And then for my final action. That's that's great. It's gonna be great. Oh no. Cause I can't move any of those guys out of there. I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put in my plus knight and put them right there. Cause you can't gaze them in there, at least. Now I have three Now I'm going to drop to my five. What are you gonna do? You have three actions. <laughs> feel, feel the total power of three actions with crack. 
That sounds like a TV show. <laughs> Three actions with Gre- I don't know. Yeah. That, that'd be a really stupid TV show, by then. All right, what, uh, what are you going to do? Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, oh. I'm going to tell you right now, you might want to mend if you can. No, I can't. You don't have you don't have a mend. No, I don't. But I have this. What is that? You have a throw. Yeah. Okay. I, what are you gonna throw? I would throw that like, guy. Uh... Okay. Dramatic slow motion. Throw. Can you throw and then gaze him? But he's all the way over there. I know, but you can put him right there if you wanted to, or right here. Because if you gaze one of them, they they're done. You win. Or you can gaze this guy. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> so that like some so that takes so, so that okay. that kind of takes that takes care of my my sentinel, which gives you eight kills. All right. So that was called Hollow. I really love this game. I'm gonna tell you right now, flat out, that I, I this like I'm usually a big miniatures player. Uh, I love miniatures board games. I love this game. Um, I know it's not gonna be for everybody, just because it's a two player. Uh, game and some people like two players, some people don't. Um, but I think that this game and, and just just the components that we have right now with this prototype game, yeah. like I would buy the game just like this. Like this is how much I, I fun, I, fun I think this game is. Um, I can't wait to see what the final copies are going to look like because I know it's just going to be more improved. Um, the meeples are, are awesome. I love the uh, the die cut like guardian meeples. I think they're super super cool. Um, I love the the little little fox and meeples. Um, I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna how I was gonna like them with the with the symbols on them. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The art, Dustin Faust is the artist on this, and just amazing. I I'm not sure whether they were intending to do this, but I kind of like how the art can go either way. Where like. You can be like, oh, the foxes are so cute, and then it could be like, the foxes can kind of look sketchy because of the fact that, like, if you're playing as, like, if you're playing as, like, the person who's, like, the fox in Heroes, right. um, then then you could be like, oh, look, my foxes are so cute, and then you could be like, you look kind of sketchy. But, like, I, I think Ed and Keith have done a great job with this game. And same um, thing with the... Like, you could be like, oh, look at how fierce my thingy is, and then be like, no, it's a bad guy. Right. Not only is this game a lot of fun, but it's made by some really great people who I'm really big fans of. And I, I think that this finished copy is going to be just outstanding once uh, once it, it gets all uh, produced uh, next year uh, after this, uh, this Kickstarter campaign. So there's still a few days left on the Kickstarter as of right now. So if you're interested in this game, go check it out. Um, I'll put the link to the Kickstarter in the description of this video. Uh, I, the other thing, that, the one other thing that I really like about this game is that there's A, there's great replayability because not only do you have um, multiple guardians, but you have multiple royalty. So even if someone picks a, a guardian that you don't, that you're, that you know, you, you know, kind of has a different play style, you can kind of pick a royalty to counteract that, and vice versa. The other thing that I like about this game is, I wouldn't be surprised if later on down the road, there's a follow-up to this game where you have instead of fox and heroes, maybe it's a different type of heroes with and different like guardians I think that there's so much potential with this and I love the fact that it's like kind of this this first I, I can see this being like kind of the first episode in a series of games and like oh. each game maybe has different you know uh, different uh, armies and different uh, guardians uh, I, I think this game has so much potential uh, I'm so excited for it, and I, I want to thank uh, thank Ed for sending us a copy to play. So I'm I'm it's no surprise that this this game is uh, burning up Kickstarter, and it's one of their best, if not the best uh, Kickstarter that uh, Pencil First Games has has uh, put out on, on Kickstarter so far. And remember, when and slash or if you play this game, the Diamond Road is always referred to as Steve. So Steve the Diamond Road. Yes. All right. Ed, you're here first. Diamond Rogue has a name, and it's Steve.
<laughs> All right, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if you ha uh, if you like this video, please please give it a like down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun, and uh, that way we can showcase all sorts of games like this. Um, yeah, uh, go check out Skull Hollow on on Kickstarter. Uh, I think it's probably my most anticipated non miniatures board game for next year. And I think it's great. I think it hits a, a great demographic because I don't think there's a lot of uh, two-player asymmetric board games that are great for families. I think this kind of just is perfect for that genre. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Victory Condition Gaming because... Oh, I thought you were going to do it, but okay. No, you're going to do it this time. Oh, okay. Because winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. That's right, folks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.